Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Dratnos' Minecraft Technic Pack Let's Play. Whew! Got a few cool things to do today. First off, you can see our lovely iron furnaces here, still, uh, trucking away on their old, uh, on their making the brickies and other, other exciting things like that, mostly making brickies, to be honest. Um, so first off, I'd just like to address some comments that were made about the, uh, I, I may have said that the scrap that I was getting was useless. I neglected, uh, this was in episode 22, this was two episodes ago. Let me go ahead and turn music down again, I don't know why it keeps turning itself up. Um, is that scrap can actually be used to accelerate the speed of a, a mass, mass condenser, mass collector thingy. Uh, matter condenser, anyway, that thing. Not an equivalent exchange thing, an industrial craft, uh, matter generator, basically. Which is a very cool thing that we'll be doing at some point, um, and yeah, that's the plan. So let's see how our coke oven's doing here. Ah, you can see we're getting coal coke. That's uh, basically a more efficient version of coal. And we have a bit more coal with us here, so we'll just go ahead and fill that on up with a bit more coal. And you can also see that the uh, drip here is filling. When that fills up, we'll start getting creosote oil. And we need creosote oil in order to make ourselves the rails, which we're going to need in order to make our world-destroying device. Um, so, now some of you have been telling me, Dratnos, it's very easy to set up these pipes here. And I was like, okay. And then some of you were like, actually explaining how to do it, and that was uh, even better. So apparently, apparently for these, and again, no guarantees that this will work. I still haven't gone through the tutorial world for this or anything. Uh, apparently, we need our buildcraft wrench. Uh, th that wrench. Also, apparently, our transmutation tablet. There it is. Um, I'll keep that in there for now, but I'll get it later. And there's our buildcraft wrench sent out through the system. La da 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 da. We can actually just by right clicking on any of these. Oh, there we go. Like that, and then. It should just start filling this thing up. Switch, mode, leave one, leave first and last, leave normal, I don't know, normal. Let's see what happens then if we put, actually, let's see what configuration this one's on. Oh, wait, that's uh, calling it to a request. That's a request as well. Um, huh. Okay, let's see what happens if we put some coal in here. Where does it go? Ah, uh, it still goes over there. Into this guy. Uh, what happens? Alright. We probably want to be using this guy down here, then. Uh, oh! I was- yeah, okay. Here's my wrench. Let's- okay, I was using the wrong thing. Uh, yes! It does want coal. It does want six coal. And so we do need to be using these supplier pipes here. And we can just- oops. Uh, yeah. Put coal there. And if we put coal here, it should now be keeping both stocked with coal. Uh, which means if we start putting coal in here, Coal now will go to uh, both of these. It should try and keep this thing stocked up with coal. Yep. Yeah. This thing gets coal, and this thing gets coal. And everybody wins. It, all, it keeps them both stacked with one coal. Now we can also set it up so that it'll automatically supply them with other things as well. So that's logistics pipes. Oh wow, there's so many awesome stuff actually that we can set this up. The crafting ones here. We can teach it to craft things. I don't even know all this stuff. I'll learn it though. Basically, logistics pipe looks... Logistics pipes look awesome, and I can't wait to play around with more with them. But today, today we want to get started building our, uh, our death machine, our ultimate doom machine, our world-destroying ending of, ending of season machine, um, because I have some really cool ideas for what we're doing next season, and, uh, and I hope to uh, get there quite soon. Uh, hopefully, they'll, I, if for those of you wondering when we're going to see Technic 7, I don't know, but apparently it should be within about a week, which means we've got three or four more episodes of this to go. So I'll be uh, showing you this. And if you have any ideas for what we should do special next series, I have a few already. I'll, I'll announce uh, some of them. I'll go ahead and give you a few teasers. Like, I plan on making kind of a... No, I'll, I'll save them. I'll save them. There, but we have different ideas this time for what we, from, than what we did this time. This time we kind of just did a regular old Let's Play. Next time I think we're going to actually do... We're going to add a little bit to the, to the season format. Okay, so we have some more brickies. We can make some more coal ovens. Uh, so let's see. Do we need more sand? We do need more sand before we can uh, get more stuff going. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the uh, transmutation tablet this time. But then in our next world, I believe I will not be using a transmutation tablet. Um, because I think it's cooler to design machines. Like, now, see, I have to, I get sand this way, but wouldn't it be cooler if I had, like, a, I don't know, something that macerated cobblestone into sand? Or uh, something like that, some, like, part of my quarries were getting sand for me, or whatever. Anything like that, so that I wasn't just always converting the easiest to collect thing into, um, into the things that I needed. That would be, I think that would be cool. So I'll hold this here, does this actually, yeah, okay, I can just use it in my inventory. 
or I can stick it down on the ground. Oh no, I don't even need to stick it down on the ground. I can just right click with it or press C. Uh, and it does it from my inventory, so that's nice. Um, uh, so, let's see, can it burn peat? No, it can't. Let's burn up our CDs and our saplies and our other saplies. And we'll stick dirt in the target area, which means we'll be able to get ourselves some sand. Uh, for those of you wondering, yes, there is a way that you can do this so that it'll actually work with stacks. There's a config file that you can change. Uh, but I figured that I wouldn't do that in this episode because then if I did that, I'd get like uh, 11 million comments saying, how did you make it so that you could take stacks out of this? Because by default, in single player, right now it doesn't work. And when Technic 7 comes out, apparently that's not going to be an issue anyways. So, uh, and it especially won't be an issue because I probably won't be using transmutation tablets. Because uh, as I said in my last episode, I feel that equivalent exchange, I love a lot of the stuff of it, but the kind of, the problem with using um, a bunch of like, um, of the like automatically cre creating matter stuff is that it just becomes, it's not easy per se. It's not like, like you still have to go through effort to get the stuff, but you stop having like a bunch of different cool machines and you start just converting one thing into all the stuff you need. Like you're, if you're not using matter collectors, you'll power it with your quarry or whatever. And you won't design a bunch of awesome machines because you'll not have the need to. Um, and so I'd like to keep that need in our series. Uh, so for that reason, I probably will not be using at least some parts of equivalent exchange. Some of you have made a good point that it has a bunch of cool like end game functionality, a bunch of cool power items and stuff. And I think you're right, and I might still use some of those, but other elements I will not. All right, there's a new coke oven we've made. Uh, and we'll go ahead and put a little bit more coal in there. And we should be able to pull a little bit out of here and put a little bit more in here. And we've got enough for one more oven and one block left over. Because it takes 20... Oh wait, no, it should be 26 each, because it's 9 plus 9 plus 8 to make this. Again, just, uh, it's an orientation-based thing. I'd love to see more of these added in-game. Some of you were right that it's kind of also like a nether portal or an ender portal or all those kinds of things, where blocks have, uh... Again, yeah, I, I just love this idea of, like, designing machines based on orientations of things. That's actually something that you see in terra firma craft. And I'm very much considering doing a terra firma craft thing. I know I said I really wasn't last time, but I've kind of changed my mind after watching some videos of it. It looks really cool, actually. Um, so I might do a series on that, kind of a side feature thing on that. Uh, if you see that, yeah, I'll try and make it uh, hopefully not as... Uh, not boring is my goal. My goal is always not boring. I might do it hardcore or something and just go until I die. Um, and then evaluate from there. Because... I haven't done a hardcore series yet, and you guys might want to see that. Alright, so we do have one creosote oil from our coke ovens. And we should be getting another pretty soon, but for right now, let's go ahead and, uh, and make ourselves some normal rails. Because we are going to need a few normal rails. Uh, so, let's go ahead and figure out what we're going to need for a rail. Rail. First off, we're going to need ourselves... Okay, for, there, for a rail, we need a wooden rail bed, which is made with wooden ties, um, which are made with creosote oil and wooden slabs. So, let's use our logistics pipes here. Do we have any, uh, we have, oh, we have wood in our inventory anyways. Derp. Let's, uh, put down our philosopher's stone there. And we'll create a little bit of wood. Use our philosopher's stone. Turn that into, uh, into lovely, lovely wooden slabs. For those of you wondering, I have just finished recording my, uh, 500 subscribers, or 5,000 subscriber special. It'll be released as soon as we get there, which, uh, looks like to me very soon. We're under 100 to go at the time of this recording. So, uh, that's... Incredibly exciting for me. Uh, anyways, we now, yeah, now we need to make ourselves some wooden ties. There we get one, so we need more creosote oil. We need three from, uh, from these guys here. Da -da -da -da, which is going to take, oh, there's another one. And these each should be halfway done or so. Yeah, the, the little oil droplet gets buggy sometimes, doesn't always show. Uh, so let's go ahead and head back over, or use our old transmutation tablet here. We still have some bricks, and we're going to have a few more left over. Actually, probably not enough to make a new thing anyway. So uh, we'll keep this. Uh, we'll keep these to the side for now. We'll just save those brickies for later. Um, so for those of you wondering, next season, we'll keep it on hard the whole time. Uh, there'll be no turning to peaceful like I've done this time. It becomes very easy. As soon as you turn to peaceful once, it becomes, it becomes very easy to keep it on peaceful. Uh, and it becomes kind of terrifying to turn it back away from peaceful. So we're not going to do that. We're going to be very careful to make sure that that doesn't happen. All right. Oh, yeah, there it is. Halfway done, and it'll be the same here. All right, I'm going to take... I'm going to go use my Somnia bed. Take a little bit of a sleepsy. I think I have a bed upstairs here. Shloop! There's our Betty. See you guys in a, uh... In a few... Well, in zero seconds. And we're back. 
dawn rises over our beautiful Minecraft world here. No weather to dissipate with our dark matter pedestal here or anything. Is that on the top of a dark matter block? It actually looks like it might be. Uh... Oh, that's cool. Uh, maybe. Anyways. Uh, what were we doing? Oh yes, creosote oil. We have some. Let us go ascertain and examine. Yes, beautiful creosote oil. Get into my inventory right now. Beautiful. That is more than enough We can to make at least the first rails. And then we can eventually... As soon as we learn the first rails, we can actually transmute to them. Um, Alright, here we go. Da-da-da. 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 Where is... What are we doing that for? See, I do this thing where I kind of just autopilot and uh, and do something with, that doesn't make sense. That happens quite frequently. Alright, there we go. We've got our wooden ties. It's a shapeless recipe to make uh, wooden rail beds. And then we need to make um, make the actual rail rail. The standard rail. And for that, we're going to need a rolling machine. Rolling machine. For that, we're going to need pistons, iron ingots, and a crafting table. Let's see how much of that we have in our system here. Uh, piston, 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 piston. Alright, we're going to need iron ingots either way. Uh, let's go ahead and just take like 20. Uh, we need a crafting table. Do we have any of those? We do have, we can, uh, we have a crafting table set up to make one, actually. Cool. Yeah, you can see it just used some other resources to do that. Um, and we need pistons, which means we need the iron that we've got. We also need some wood, which, uh, we can have auto-create for us, although we have wood in our inventory, actually. So let's just get the cobblestone we'll need, and we'll need a wee bit of redstone. Ready stony. Do we have any ready stony? Yes, we do. Uh, we'll go ahead and just take four, I believe, is the amount we'll need for that. Yes. Get into my inventory, redstone. Beautiful. Let's go, uh, make a little bit of crafting here. A little bit of crafting happening at our crafting table number two. Get some pistons. Ooh, what do we need for more pistons? Um, we need more wooden planks. Like so. And, there we go, piston, piston, piston. Awesome. Looks like we only need four. I'll go ahead and make the extra, the extra one and, uh, Stick that back into our logistics pipe system. So let me see actually how much these are configured. No, okay, they're just... You're designed to actually put your things into the right chest, although we could use logistics pipes to auto-sort for us. Uh, so where, where, where would we put our stuff? Uh, Wool-based... Wood-based, no, I see ingots materials. Uh, no, no mob drops, EE toys, red power slabs, build craft, misc. Let's call it a misc. There's the extra piston, and let's head back over to our auto-crafting table. We should have enough stuff now to make ourselves a rolling machine. There it is. Bing! Rolling machine made. I'll go ahead and stick that over by our coke ovens. That's my transportation sound. Rolling machine, and we just roll a bit of iron ingots into it, like that. Like uh, the automatic crafting tables, it, it has a lot of the functionalities of an automatic crafting table, actually. Like, you can set it up like this, and it can work like an auto-crafting table for these, uh, which is very cool. It, it, can, it goes very well with buildcraft. Railcraft and buildcraft play very nicely together. Uh, railcraft and industrial craft do as well, as do... Um, yeah, railcraft, buildcraft, railcraft, industrial craft, those are the main ones that play very well together. Very well. And when this thing builds here, we should get a new creosote oil. Come on, it's a very slow burn. Very slow burn. It's like when you insult somebody. Except they don't get it for a while. That's a slow burn as well. There it is. There's our creosote oil. I don't know why I felt compelled to stand there and wait for that. Uh, we are going to need more coal at some point. I'll go... I'll just transmute to it. Whatever. See, this is, the, this is where I would otherwise have the impetus to create a cool machine. Here I just am like, okay, I'll just transmute to it. Oops, and we have a little bit of extra EMC there. Go ahead and just pump in some wood. And pull out a bit of sandstone. And now we should be able to get to coal just by putting in our Klein Star. Put coal there. Many coal. Many coal. Many coal. See, see, see where I where I would otherwise have to have like quarries going or or something like that, or I'd have to at least have like a coal storage in my system somewhere. Here I create them with equivalent exchange, um, which is why I am probably not going to be using it in my new series. Now I know that I, there are so many other cool things that equivalent exchange adds, but there are like a few parts of it. So I'm not sure exactly how I'll ban different parts of it, but I know that I will be banning some of it at least. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much yet, but probably the, a lot of the stuff that uh, 
that people, the, a lot of the most used stuff. Like, anytime you go to a Technic server or a Tekkit server, a lot of the stuff that you find in every house, I'll try and ban that from, from what I'll use next season. Right. Um, blah, blah. We have our rails. We can actually just create our first, our standard rails right now. And, uh, standard rail, standard rail, there it is. We get 24 for that, which is not a horrible exchange, especially considering that coal coke doesn't cost anything. You basically take coal, and you automatically upgrade it to better coal, and you get creosote oil. It's brilliant. I'll go ahead and uh, teach this to keep coal coke in it as well. Either one of those. Uh, oops. Wrong thing. And then if we put it in here, coal coke. Actually, we'll have this work entirely off of coal coke. We'll stop filling it with coal. Uh, let's pull the coal out. And it should fill itself with coal coke. Beautiful. And we'll keep a different block going there each time, just to annoy you guys. And, um... Blah, 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 blah. What are we doing? Uh, we've got our rails. We can learn that to our transmutation tablet. Uh, da da da. There we go. EMC. Uh, we'll probably only need a few of these guys, and we'll put the rest into our client star, so that we can use it to unfairly transmute to other things in the future. Not unfairly. Uh, and again, if you use Equivalent Exchange yourself, the only reason that I don't want to use it is because I think it makes my series boring. I don't think it makes the gameplay boring, I just think it makes it boring to watch, uh, is all. Okay, we've made our regular rails, and now we should get going on making some uh, our, uh, the other rails that we'll need. We're going to need a priming rail. Uh, let's see, do we have that? Priming rail. So for that, we need a wooden rail bed again. We've got the materials for that. A pressure plate and a flint and steel. Okay. Uh, so let's see, do we have any flint in here? Flinty, flinty, flinty. Flintles. Flintoozle. Flint, eh. Flint, 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 flint. No, it doesn't look like it. Does not look like it. We can make our pressure plate, though. I'll request two stone. And we can make the ra wooden rail bed. Uh, I've got the stuff we need for that. I can just turn this all into wood. So we've got everything we need. We've got enough iron. We just need to get a flint and steel. Uh, which means we just need a flint. Which actually, if we have sand, we can even make, um, here's how I'm going to do this. I'll just go ahead and get this sand here. And get another bit of sand. There we go. Make some sandstone. And this is, see, this is a cool part of your equivalent exchange. You plonk down, like, all the, the direct philosopher's stone transmutations, they're cool. And I, I think I stick with them. But the whole thing where you can just change this into gravel. And then get that out of the way here. I'd go get a shovel, but that sounds like a lot of effort, let's be honest here. And we'll just keep killing these until we can get ourselves a flinty. Lovely little flinty flint. Flintle flint. Flintles. Oh, wait, I know how we can do this uh, much better. Let's just put a torch down here. And then just keep putting gravel up here. And you can see it just... It gets destroyed, and then comes to me. Very easy. I'm not sure if there's a chance of it making flint this way. I hope there is. There should be. Let me gather the rest of this. Maybe I do need a shovel to actually have the, the chance of spawning the flint. I don't even know. Let's grab ourselves a diamond shovel. Do we have one in here? Diamond shovel? Uh, does not look like we have a diamond shovel. We are out of diamond. Let us gather some diamond. Do I have diamond in my... Oh, I have a diamond shovel right here. I have my shovel, and now I have three diamond for funsies. Alright, let's, uh, let's try putting the seven here, but if that doesn't work... Oops. Huh, funny. Nice little bug there. This is annoying. It's like a one-eighth chance of making the, uh, flint, flint, I believe. But it doesn't look like it wants to be doing it for us. Because it's very hurtful. And cruel. There we go, there we I saw the flint. We have it. We have our flint and steel. We're not burning anything yet. Don't, don't worry. There we go, flint and steel. And we have the wooden rail bed. Nope, let's, let's head on over. Oops, sorry for the third person there. Uh, nope, that's not what we want. We want our tra crafting table number two. Da-da-da. And let's make ourselves our, what's it, uh, wooden slabs. Da-da-da. And then from that, we should be able to make wooden ties. Not a litter box, we don't need one of those. Wooden tie, there we go. Let's make all the ones we can of that. Three is enough. Uh, three is not enough. Not enough. We require more creosote oil. Luckily, we've been uh, messing around and, and doing nothing for long enough. Hopefully for another creosote oil. Creosote oil. There we go. And that's the uh, next materials that we need for our, for our project. 
So the next things we're going to need after we've got our priming rail, uh, we'll need to make ourselves uh, automatic crafting tables, which we have. We'll just steal two. And so, yeah, we're pretty much ready to get this machine built. Uh, so what I'll probably do is that when Technic 7... Uh, let's... Okay. Oops. What have I been doing? Did I get the wooden tie? I did not. I have no idea what I actually did there. Uh, there's our wooden rail bed anyways. And now we should be able to make a priming rail. We can make elevator rails. You can learn about those all by watching my mod primer. Uh, what do we need for priming rail? Oh, we need to, of course, use our rolling machine. Did, um, did I just break America? I might have just broken everything. Uh, oops. And we're back. Apparently, um, something doesn't like something. I don't know. Something, something done bugged. Uh, where were we? Oh, yes. Let's see what we have here. Oh, of course. We need to make ourselves our pressure plate first. Uh, yeah. So I tried something, I tried, to, I think I hit R over something in this interface, and it, it, it uh, crashed me out. Which was uh, an unpleasant experience for all involved. Alright, do we have our, d does this, let's try and create the recipe manually and see what we're missing, because, oh yes, we are going to need our rails, of course. Let's go to our rolling machine. Like, Swift Old Shrending Gale, that's an, that's an item I don't have a problem with, from equivalent exchange. It's mostly just the whole, like, condenser energy thing. Like, the, the idea of, like, converting your diamonds into whatever it is you need, and then automatically being able to generate diamonds super easily because you can take anything else and convert them into that. I think it gets rid of a lot of the, uh, what makes these kind of series interesting to watch. Uh, and so for that reason, I'll be severely, I'll be limiting what I do with, with Equivalent Exchange. I'll figure out some sort of set of guidelines that works well. Alright, we need our priming rails, and that's almost all the rails we're going to need. We're also going to need a launch rail. Uh, launcher rail. That guy. For that, we're going to need blocks of iron, okay, pistons, and two wooden rail beds. So we're going to need a total, then, of eight creosote oil. Um, we have enough iron to do that very easily. And yeah, so eight creosote oil is going to be our limiting reagent there. Or limiting regent, however you call it, whatever, I don't even know. Uh, but we've got our priming rail. We've got six of them. So let's go ahead and, uh, and figure out where we want this machine to be. We want it to be kind of raining death. Oh, that actually kind of looks like the machine already here, how I had envisioned it. So yes, this will be... Our ultimate mega death machine here will shoot in this direction and will blow stuff up. Um, so, let's go ahead and just put some gravel here to annoy everybody. Yeah, there. There you go. How's that for building? That is some super cool building right there. And we'll use some wood because there's nothing like wood around possible explosions. Da-da-da, uh, da-da-da, da-da-da, da-da, da-da. So, the basic idea of this machine is that it's going to, um, we're going to automatically produce minecarts over here. We're going to automatically produce, um, TNT over here. We're going to send them into the middle. We're going to have an automatic crafting table here. Produce, um, produce TNT carts, which is very simple. TNT cart, let me show you. Uh, TNT cart is just TNT and a cart. And then we'll shoot that out over here to an, uh, to a thingy, a cart dispenser. And that cart dispenser will then dispense the cart out here, where it will get launched to a priming rail here, and then to a launcher rail here, and boom, shoot it out that way. Um, we'll make sure that it doesn't hit anything in the way. And it'll land in our base and explode. And if we do it from here, we should be able to set it up a, like a bombing run type thing where we can have it go at low range first and destroy up this side, and then we can increase the range of it and uh, do a bunch of different things like that. So that's the plan. That's our world destroying... Uh, Havoc Machine. Yes, that's what we'll do. Uh, that should be fine. Yeah, we'll, uh, mess up our water break just a little bit here. Let's see how it looks now, actually. Uh, this is gonna send water all over the place, isn't it? Yes, yes, Ratnos, yes it is. Ooh, there it goes. Nice. Okay. Oh, I know how we can fix that, though. Just by placing, uh... One little hole right here. That's no longer a problem. Now it'll just fall straight. No, oh, wait, and getting rid of the sign, of course. Yes. And now that's still not going to flood everywhere. Cool. Uh, and we'll get rid of that as well to make the appearance. There we go. There's our little pad up to our ship. Okay, so this is where we're going to build our machine. We've got some of the things we need. The next thing we need is launcher rails. And we actually will build the machine. Probably we'll, we'll finish getting the reagents next episode. Uh, and then kind of do a bit of a farewell tour, recap of our world, and then blow it to smithereens. Uh, and hopefully that'll time coincidentally right around the same time as Technic 7 launching, and us beginning a new world 
with a, hopefully some really exciting new stuff that I've got planned for it. I plan to have, I'll go ahead and give you a little bit of a teaser. There's going to be some element of, um, of like, story slash role-playing involved in our world. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be somewhat, it's like I've seen other series with similar ideas, but I'm taking it in a slightly unique direction. We're going to have some fun, some fun with it, and uh, hopefully, hopefully you'll all enjoy it, regardless of how you enjoy your Technic. Uh, hopefully it has a little bit of everything for a little bit of everybody. Actually, yeah, that, that, that's a pretty good slogan right there. Right, so thanks everybody for watching. My name has been Dratnos. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a like, uh, a favorite, a subscribe, uh, a share. That's the last one, the share. I remembered. I remembered all four of the things that are awesome if you do. Um, furthermore, we are very close to our 5,000 subscriber special, so if you have not subscribed, now would be an awesome time to do so. And if your friends have not subscribed, now would be an awesome time to coerce them with food. Um, right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. My name has been Dratnos. Goodbye.